I'm here with Robbie Williamson at, in Orlando, Florida at the UDS for the Natty Narwhal Cycle, Ubuntu 11.04. Robbie, I was going to list off all your titles and the teams that you manage, but why don't you just tell folks what you do at Canonical? Okay, um, so my ongoing job has been managing the Foundations team. That was my first job that I was hired into two years ago. Um, Foundations is the core OS of the team, your booting, your install, your package management, tool chain, a lot of stuff that maybe your average user doesn't know about or just kind of breezes through, but it's pretty key if it breaks. Um, and then I picked up security team because um, it is a foundational component. Um, you know, it runs across server, desktop, everything you do. We do a lot of web security, uh, processing um, security updates to keep you safe. Um, and last cycle, I was uh, acting release manager. <laughs> so I released 1010. Um, because Steve Langasek, who's our awesome release manager for many cycles, moved on to another position within Lenaro um, um, to lead a team there. <clears throat> so last cycle I released 1010, and then I gave that up to Kate Stewart, who I'm not sure if you're interviewing or not, but um, so she's the new release manager for Ubuntu. And I recently picked up acting uh, manager of the Ubuntu server team. Uh, uh, the previous manager uh, left Canonical, went to another job, and um, so I've, I've had experience with server. My background, I had 10 years at IBM doing a various work on, you know, servers, and I had an interest in the product itself. So I said, you know, until we can find a permanent one, I would take that over. Um, I think Ubuntu is, can be poised to be the best uh, OS for the cloud, and by that I mean, you know, hosting, uh, guest partitioning, um, even workloads, um, and focusing on that. You know, we, we had a strong push. Um, you know, in Amazon EC2, you know, one of the, the most popular OSs used, and so we really think we can, you know, deliver the best uh, cloud experience, uh, you know, as an operating system. And so the server team has been, you know, solely focused on doing that. Um, and it's been rough. I mean, there's been some, you know, changes in direction. Um, you know, and the technology is very new, and you know, and, that, and that's just the, the the overall cloud ecosystem. You know, talk to an IBM or an HP. You know, ask them what cloud is, you get, you know five different answers from the same people working in the company. Um, but, you know, I think we made some tremendous strides. You know, Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud is, is out. So Foundations did a lot of work in the past cycles to, to lay the grounds for something like Unity in terms of the overall user experience of, you know, getting up and running very fast, um, you know, to be able to, you know, and part of Unity is crisp, clean, you know, you know user uh, you know, accessing you know, applications and so forth. Uh, but, but to, you know, to be honest, you know, Foundations doesn't play too much of a role in Unity itself. I mean, once, you know, we, we want to get you to Unity very fast, and, 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 and so, that, you know, so we do play a role there. You know, um, the overall boot experience, you know, can we have a, a what we call a flicker-free boot, where, you know, you know um, the logo comes up, and then, the, you know, Unity fades in. We do play a role in that. Um, but most of our stuff is underneath the covers, you know, file systems that, you know, can we give you better file systems that are faster, that provide you things such as, you know, um, a time machine-like uh, function that you can always recover from. Um, there's new file systems that are coming down that we will do that. And so you'll see the output in Unity, like, oh, that's a cool new feature now, I can roll this back, you know? And that was because of work that we did in, in the lower levels. Can you explain just a little bit about the, the KVM uh, model or, or, or? So KVM's virtualization. Um, you know, virtualized machines. It's it's one way of doing it. Um, there's uh, Zen, which is another way, and then you know, and the companies have their own implementations. You know, IBM has virtualization built into some of their power servers and so forth. So, um, I mean, it's just I don't know virtualization. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it, it, you know, um, we've done some work on it. Uh, Dustin Kirkland's done some work on it within our team for Ubuntu, um, as far as bringing it along, integrating the new features that, that, that they release out. You know, virtual machines are great in a number of different ways. You can, you know, especially if you're into testing or trying out new things, you can set up a virtual machine on your laptop and um, try out Ubuntu, try out Ubuntu server, um, try out things before you install them for real. You know, that's so I, I, that's how I personally use them. But there are other just other great ways to to, to leverage a virtual machine. I have been resistant to Unity on my desktop, you know, um, just trying to, I mean, I tried it on my netbook, and it was cool, you know, um, and, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know, let me, let me just see what it looks like, because I, I, I heard some people had tried it on their desktop before I knew we were making a change, so let me, let me see what happens. I did it, and I was, like, surprised by how much I liked it. I was like, wow, this is pretty sweet, you know, I can, it just makes me, I can use applications, I can switch between workspaces, I can keep them open, I, I liked it. It was clean, I, you know, and I found myself, I, had, I, I would always do that to my desktop anyway. You know, I would take, I would remove the bottom taskbar, I would slide all the crap from the top and make it, I mean, I, I did it anyway. So it's like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so that and the touch stuff, I, I you know, I, I'm a friend of the guy who runs the team, Duncan McGregor, but 
besides being friends, I just, it's just cool. I don't know why I think it's cool. I mean, I'm not a big iPad fan or all that stuff, but um, just to be able to do that and do it well with the gesturing, it's, it's pretty sweet to me. Um, you know, maybe one day we get like Angry Birds on Ubuntu, you know, be able to fling birds across. On the, I mean, that's just cool to me. As you drive towards the LTS, we, we start, you know, focusing a lot more on stability because, you know, it's going to be out longer. So we, you know, the, you know, not that the other releases aren't stable, but, you know, we, we, we add less stuff to it because we got to make sure it's hardened because we have to support it much longer. These middle releases are where the fun happens. I mean, you know, that's where we did boot speed in between LTSs. This is where we, you know, we modify the desktop. I mean, yeah, these are the fun ones. You know, I mean, and yeah, there's a little bit of risk, but it's not, it's, it's not, it's not dramatic at all. Yeah. I know Mark mentioned in his keynote perfectionists wanted for the 12.04 cycle. How close to perfection do you think 11.04 will be? Define perfection. I mean, yeah, there'll be bugs. There'll always be bugs. Windows has bugs. Mac OS has bugs. Every operating system has bugs, but I think it's... In my, in, my, in my opinion, you know, perfection is, is, is fixing the ones that are just glaring. You know, the ones that users run into every day, the ones that, you know, that, that, that just, you know, deter from the experience. And I'm not saying we, we shouldn't, you know, ignore bugs, but, you know, the fact that it is, you know, software is created by humans, humans are full of bugs themselves. So, um, until we have software creating software, which would still be, you know, putting the bugs, they, they will always be there. But um, I think I think we made huge huge gains. I mean, even just sitting in in, in the uh, plenary, the opening plenary, and seeing that uh, the Ubuntu commercial that was running, that was huge. I mean, my first Ubuntu UDS uh, was uh, Jaunty in Mountain View, We've, and that's only two years ago. It feels like there was like four or five, you know, in terms of just time of working on it and in you know the process, the, the progress of the product. I mean, I, you know, I tell somebody if, if Jaunty's into life, but if you can find it, install it in a virtual machine and compare it to what we are now. It's amazing how far we've come. Amazing. And you forget about it when you're just every cycle pushing, pushing internally in the company, but it's, it's dramatic.